get out of the city as quickly as possible. You do not want to be there. It So you need to be, have some place that you can go that's already ready. Don't worry about hoarding the the finances because for one thing, if, if that were to happen, how are you going to pay for anything? You know, have a, a well, don't, don't get city water, have your own well or collect water from some water collection system. Any of the stuff that you need in order to survive, make sure that you've already got it. You need a place to live. I'm pretty sure that if you've got a mortgage, if everything crashes and burns, uh, the banks are going to be coming and foreclosing on you. So I wouldn't worry about paying that one. So you need your place to live. You need stuff to eat. You need water to drink. And you're going to want your, um, your electricity. So I would make sure you had those things covered. And then sit back and... And uh, personally, I think it's a good idea to stay out, to have some place that you can go, whether it's in a group or your own land that you, if something like that were to happen, if there's no way of getting to the product to exchange, take your gold and exchange it, it's worthless. It might as well be toilet paper. You're my daughter. Stop. Please. I just want one pack. No, not one pack. Panic shopping. It's happening all over the country. Suddenly basics are running off the shelves and the most sought after item is toilet paper. I've uh, gone to three supermarkets and on the third visit I finally found the toilet paper. I'm curious. I'm curious why people buy so much toilet paper. I just did a stockpile of just everything that's just basic to what I need. Oh, it's just crazy. Crazy or not, Woolworths has now imposed a four-pack per customer limit on toilet paper. There's that kind of catastrophe. You're not going to go out and buy a house during that period of time. You're going to be surviving with your basic needs. So make sure you've got your basic needs. Don't worry about the rest of it. you got to watch the way they've got this set up because they, they're they sneaky. And they, they like to say, well, they like to create a shortage shortage of stuff. Mm -hmm. Now, can you walk through any forest or any park anywhere and get a pizza or a, a cheeseburger? No, you cannot. So what they've done is they've gotten people addicted to what they like, which is, you know, pizza and hot dogs and ice cream and all that stuff. So they're under the impression in their head, well, I can't get food. Well, yeah, you can. You can go out there and you can Walk along and you can pick all the food that you will ever need walking out your back door. Between that and I guarantee you can find some place to fish for free. There's food out there and there's plenty of it. It's just most people don't like it. You know, they want the food that they want. They don't want they don't want the other food. And and I'm just going, well, that's what you exchange. I personally would rather have the freedom to be out of the system and away from them. That I am willing to give up that stuff in order to have that freedom.